a very good morning to everyone today we have a demo on stomach it is a muscular bag like structure which is 25 centimeter in length and it helps in temporary storage of food the shape of the stomach is reverse l shape j shape semilunar shape or steer horn shape but mostly it is j shape we have to know the location it is located in left hypochondrium epigastric and the umbilical region we have to know about the external features of the stomach so it consists of the the cardiac end so this is cardiac end same how below this is known as the pyloric end so this is pyloric end so this cardiac end continues above with the esophagus while the pyloric end continues downwards with the duodenum you can see here in the diagram same how we have the two surface that is known as the anterior surface and the posterior surface so this anterior surface it is facing forwards and the upwards while the posterior surface it is facing downwards and backwards now we have the two curvatures in the stomach that is known as the greater curvature so this is greater curvature same how this is known as the lesser curvature so now we have to know the attachment in the greater curvature and the lesser curvature just imagine that above this is the diaphragm here we have the diaphragm so something which is attached from the stomach to the diaphragm that ligament is known as gastrophrenic ligament now let's skip the spleen here now something which is attached from the stomach to the spleen and that ligament is known as gastrosplenic ligament and below it is attached with the greater momentum same how the lesser curvature we have the attachment with the help of lesser momentum or we can say hepatogastric ligament and hepatoduodenum ligament why hepato means it is related with the liver that's why hepatogastric and hepatoduodenum we have to know the relations that is anterior relations and the posterior relation of the stomach so anteriorly it is related with the anterior abdominal wall with the diaphragm and with the left lobe of the liver now same how we have the posterior relation so in the posterior aspect it is related with the diaphragm the spleen left kidney so if there is a left kidney along with that left suprarenal gland left colic flexures splenic artery and the pancreas or we can say body of the pancreas and transverse colon also parts of stomach consist of fundus body and the pyloric part which consist of pyloric antrum and pyloric canal from the cardiac notch if you draw imaginary line above that it is known as fundus which is dome shaped let's know the blood supply if this is a greater curvature greater curvature is supplied by short gastric artery and the left gastroepiploic artery both is a branch of splenic artery and which is a branch of celiac tract and the lower part it is supplied by right gastroepiploic artery which is a branch of gastroduodenal artery same how let's repeat short gastric left gastroepiploic artery and right gastroepiploic artery is supplying the stomach that is the greater curvature part now we have the lesser curvature lesser curvature is supplied by right and the left gastric artery above by the left gastric artery which is a branch of celiac trunk and below that is the right gastric artery which is a branch of common hepatic artery and which is a branch of celiac trunk venous drainage is by short gastric vein right and the left gastroepiploic vein left gastric vein and the right gastric vein all these vein drains into portal vein except right gastroepiploic vein which drains into superior mesenteric vein let's know the nerve supply nerve supply is both by sympathetic and parasympathetic sympathetic is derived from t6 to t10 spinal segment that is through the greater splanchanic nerve celiac and hepatic plexus but keep in mind the sympathetic is vasomotor and motor to the pyloric sphincter as well as innervated to the remaining gastric musculature and it is a main nerve for the pain sensation from the stomach the parasympathetic innervation is with the help of right and the left vagus nerve let's know the lymphatic drainage it means lymph from the stomach goes and drains into all these lymph nodes what you can see here in the diagram let's divide the stomach into four part one two three and four part from one number the lymph is drained into the left gastric lymph nodes and finally into the celiac lymph nodes from four number it goes and drains into the right gastric lymph nodes and into the celiac lymph nodes three number goes and drains into pancreatic splenic lymph nodes two number goes and drains into the right gastroepiploic lymph nodes and the remaining part of two area is drained into the pyloric lymph nodes finally this everything goes and drains into the hepatic lymph nodes and from the hepatic lymph nodes into the celiac lymph nodes